Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Um, thank you for Glenn for hosting. I will be taking over. I am Sparty. I'll be your host for the VR blocks. So if you're a VR fan, perfect place to be. Um, so D-Limes will start us off with MGS1 VR missions. I'm joined by Philo and Platonic Guy, who will do the comms. So take it away, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, I'm D-Limes. I run a lot of MGS1, MGS2 VR stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing all the time attack levels in VR1. So it's roughly 180 levels. Um, and these guys who are by my side know just as much VR as I do. They are definitely legends of this game for sure. So um, I'm going to start with the puzzle levels because they are utter dog trash and I want to get them out of the way first. So uh, time will begin when I select this first level. Um, and then if you guys just want to talk for the first two levels, just so I can not pull my hair out, that'd be great. In three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck, Limes. You. you got this. All right, first level. This is puzzle eight, I think you chose. Nine. Um, nine sorry. Um, so a lot of for a lot of these puzzle levels, there's kind of like, as the name implies, a puzzle that you need to solve. Um, in this level, you have to kill this guard in order for the gold to appear, but it's a lot trickier than it seems. There's like all these linear paths. The game just gives you a C4 to deal with them. Uh, and then there's cameras blocking the way. It's just a very awkward level. And you need to blow up the camera using the guard. Nicely executed. Beautiful. Yep, and this level is probably, in my opinion, the worst one even casually. Um, it requires probably the most patience, the most amount of patience uh, nice. from all the levels. Um, you need to attract this guard using your footprints and blow him up along with an obstacle uh, using the one claymore that you have. Uh, it's a bit tricky because you need him to follow your footprints. Um, if you walk away too far, the footprints that's closer to him will start to disappear. But you can't be too close to him, otherwise he'll spot you. So you just need to be really patient, don't go too far off, don't be too close. Uh See that that's what I mean. This this level sucks because he can like turn at different times. It's not consistent even though the path is the same. And that's where I have to make my move and it just didn't pan out. Didn't restart it. So yeah, we should it should also mention that this is the PC port. Um Limes chose this because, well, it is the fastest version, so it's the best way to play full game VR. But the downside to it is that you only have D-pad-like movements, so just eight-way movements. Um, it can make some of these levels very tricky. Definitely not optimal for the ILs because you don't have 360 degrees. Can I interrupt for one second? Sure. We have a donation for a cheeky four dollar twenty cents from. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce no. it. No. Mature. Oh my God, I'm just imploding on. This is what I was afraid of. And he says, shout out to Brazil and Fawara. So thank you, Mature Kamov, for the 420. All right. Huge shout out to him. This level is just, like I said, brutal, brutal, as far as what this guard does. Um, and that's why I have it at the, at the top of the list. But I factored in I factored it into the estimate because I figured it, this could get hairy. But once I get out of this level, it's this is not a bad run. At least you get to listen to the nice VR music while we're patient waiting for this card. And get to VR around. just has some really nice music. Yep. Yeah, the ambient music is actually very beautiful, very soothing. Eventually, I'll get out of this eventually. Like, I just gotta shake it off. Yeah, this card's extremely unpredictable, unfortunately. But you got this. And I've tried to science this out. Why, like, why does the guard turn earlier there or later? And it's just, I can't figure out anything like 
Sometimes he turns around in, in short cycles, sometimes it's long cycles. Like, I, I just don't get it. I don't know if there's an RNG seed or something, but... This should be okay. Highest IQ guard in VR missions right here. Alright, we're good. Very nice. Oi! Yes! This no, level it. is in a uh, dragonfly. Yeah, in the shape of a dragonfly. I think you could look from above. Um, I guess when you enter the goal, you can see it. Alright, we're finally out. Bye. Nice to Fancy doing the piano as well. So now we're going to go to the versus 12 levels where we have to take out 12 guards in each level. You get a random set of uh, weapons and a certain amount of ammo of each. A um, lot of strategy you can do with this level, a lot of creative different things you can do. The most important thing obviously is just survive. Yeah, a lot of the weapons you are kind of weird as well. Things you wouldn't really use against a guard rush in full game. How many times do you have like five guards approaching you and you pick out PSG one? <laughs> You also have to be conservative with your ammo count because the game doesn't give you that much. Alright, not too bad. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. You just a lot of these guards just line up uh, nice and convenient right here. Take a few of them out with the SOCOM and then we'll use our explosive later. These levels are super fun casually too. Yeah, it's one where you have to be creative with when you, how you approach the cards and what weapons you use at what points. There's a lot of ways you can approach these levels. As opposed to the other ones which are kind of linear. Yeah, this one has like a playground in the square. But in the I like seconds. how you're getting flat scores. Yeah, yeah I well. just noticed that. <laughs> nice game. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Underwater Smoking for the cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Professor Underwater Smoking. Probably explain the mechanic that you're doing there. Um, guards spawn in on these levels when Snake is not looking, or the camera is not panned in, which is why you see lines turn around and then look up in the first person view. Just get the guards to spawn in closer to them, closer to him. Alright, not too bad. Basically, for these levels, I like to aim around 45-ish seconds per when doing full game attempts, so... The aisles are much faster than that, but good luck executing that in a setting like this. Yeah, that's probably something else we should explain. Um, VR is mostly an IL game, where we try to save as many frames as possible uh, on a level basis. But when you're doing these levels back to back, all of them, uh, those IL strats are, to say, risky. It's just like it's more than just risky. It's near impossible to get the IL strats consistently, which is why you'll see IL players when um, like, 
going for those levels will reset hundreds and hundreds of times in a row. Just to get thousands. what they want. Yep. Yeah, we put thousands of runs into this All game. three of us know what it feels like. Yeah. And except I leave the room and come back and Platonic five minutes later gets the end card. <laughs> That's the little... That helps usually when out. It's awesome, out. bro. <laughs> when, like, you just, you're stuck on a level, you take a five minute break, you come back and all of a sudden... You know, yeah, the bar has been raised. So this is an interesting level. The game spawns you with no weapons at all, and then it puts all the weapons on the opposite side. So you have to sneak your way past these guards in order to get your weapons. Is definitely the spice of life. This game's got nothing but that, which is beautiful because if you're new to VR and you want to get into something, there's nothing but variety. So you'll definitely find something that you get cozy with. I'll just stick to my sneaking levels. No, I'm gonna restart that. <laughs> Bad grenade throw. Alert mechanics are pretty useful for these levels as well. Um, whenever you cause an alert, whether the guard spots you or it's an explosion in these games, uh, rather than just necessarily approaching you, they go to where the alert was caused. So the explosion, so if there was an explosion somewhere, rather than approaching you, they go to where the explosion was instead. You can use that mechanic to bunch up guards together. Yeah, that's an amazing nice alert mechanic. Ooh. So I'm not sure what difficulty guards are based on in VR1. I imagine it's level dependent. Philo and Lime can probably correct me on that. I would say it's level dependent, yes. Love yeah. Yeah, because there's like that one mission um, where you gotta sneak with the box up to the guard and he's got like the longest range view in the game. Oh that's yeah, that guard. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. That's actually outlandish. Uh, that guard has basically binoculars on. <laughs> it would be interesting to see the radar range um, or the vision range of the guards in some levels where there's no radar that are on the yeah. hardest pages just to actually see if they have the, the, the longer range or whatnot. And now we're on to the most commonly ran levels in the oh, VR1, which sneaking. is the sneaking levels, which Cold is we have poured thousands and thousands of hours into these levels and broke a lot of these levels with this lean strat. Oh, that was oh. scary with that guard. Lack of lean, basically. So. Limes discovered the lean, and the new era was brought forth. And I tell you, the grind is now seriously real. <laughs> I believe it was almost a year ago. It was December of last year, right? You found it? December 11th. The only reason why I remember that is because that is... Uh, We're literally a week away. It is uh, my future wife's mom's birthday. It is December 11th. So almost a week. Or a week away, exactly. Now that date's unforgettable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these, these, not only is this game extremely optimized for ILs, but the sneaking levels especially. There's a few in particular that are being brought to the next level. Like, sneaking stage number two, without lean, Platonic has the current untied, which is 522, and he brought it down from 525, which is really crazy. Because when that happens, it means that other levels have the possibility of, like, raising the bar to get a lower time. And that really makes this game, like, another tier of difficulty, which is truly inspirational, honestly. Well, that phase was scary. So, about lean, um, if you're wondering how much it saves over just running into the goal, it's approximately a fifth to a quarter of a second. Um, but the way we measure it is in terms of ticks or, like, in-game frames. And it's, um... 
I think six ticks is how much it saves. risky doing it that way but it's like seven seconds faster than waiting for another camera cycle so even with the many buffers it still save time very nice two hundred IQ guard <laughs> that's great Take this safe, just because. Yeah, that one time, that even freaks me out. Yeah. Only fell down to the trap door. No, when the guards Anything. spotted them. That was messed. Yeah, one of those guards in that level is RNG on when he, like, turns. So, it's really strange. Um, we're coming up to another guard placement, the level with the two spotlights. That level is also, I'm pretty sure, RNG placement. This one right here, this guard will start out at an angle sometimes and hit the wall, versus coming at you at a straight line, which can sometimes mess up a, a good run, which means just another reset. Can I interrupt one more time? Oh, nice. Sorry, yeah. Um, so, we got a huge donation from Underwater Smoking, dropped a 50 bomb. $50. Oh. It says, I dedicate this donation to Limes, the human task. This also goes out to the entire MGSR community. God bless. Thank you very much, Underwater Smoking. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, much oh, damn. Nice. That generosity is greatly appreciated. What a loving community, honestly. Yeah. So now we are on to sneaking levels, but we now have to eliminate all the guards, and all we get is a silent SOCOM pistol. Speaking of that last level, it is possible to go on the left side with the box trick, input buffer around the viewpoint of the camera, and input buffer by the guard at the very end. It's extremely tight, but Limes and one other person have a current world record for it. It's really nice. Yeah, it, it saves about a second, but it is so incredibly precise to pull off that it's just not viable in an RTA setting. Can I just say I appreciate your ammo count at the end of that level? Yeah, for 20, for 20 so oh, cool. nice. I, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Give a shout out. Yes. That was not intentional. Run's going very smooth. Yeah, other than the beginning, but we're gonna forget that happened. <laughs> so Yeah, that happens, but it's nice to get that level just up done and out with. Yeah, that's that's why it's early. Yeah, you were smart with choosing it like that. Very nice. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be an hour and a half into a run, run into that and get all flustered. So thankfully you can pick any order you want as long as you complete all the required levels. Now, this is an interesting level. Um, all the guard, all the guards in this room kind of zone in onto you, so it gets. I remember Philo explained this earlier. It gets really intense. So you just yeah. need to take a wide line, play it as safe as possible with one side of the guards. For somebody's first time experience playing this game and putting speedruns aside, that's a really interesting level because the guards do stop, but you don't know this right away. So it definitely adds pressure, and that's one thing I like about this game. It's so old school, but yeah, like it's really intense for first time playthroughs. Dude didn't hear his friend getting shot. What a shame. Interesting thing about VR is that's the whole point of it. It's kind of like to teach you the mechanics of the game. In that previous level, there are lasers around, and you can see Snake, um, as soon as you start the level, he has his cigarettes equipped. <clears throat> Just an in-game mechanic from full game where if you approach lasers, and you have to equip the cigarettes, you can kind of see the, the smoke of the cigarettes. Yeah, if you don't get the thermal, which is just such a badass mechanic. I love that, man. This game really makes you think.
Yeah, fun fact about VR, when I first started playing this game, I always used to joke around about my friends like, yeah, if you play VR, imagine how good you'd be at MGS1. And fun fact, I've never tried an attempt of speedrunning MGS1 yet. 1,000% try it. <laughs> yeah. I say that on the right. I never run MGS1. <laughs> Had to go to a backup there because I missed one shot on the guard early, but it worked out. And this is why backup strats are seriously fucking vital. Freaking vital. <laughs> my, bad. my bad, no my bad, my there's, bad. There's the one. My one bad, yeah, that one. Yeah. Backup strats are very vital. So when you come near to the end of the run, sometimes the pressure can start building up, right? So having those backup strats makes you feel a lot more safe, which can build the confidence to keep calm and collected throughout a whole run. Which really sucks for that puzzle level, because there's there's a super risky IL strat you can do, but what I did is like, quote unquote, the marathon safe slash backup strat, like, and it still just sucks. That's the tough part. Just speaks volumes about how trash that level is. It is, it's just utter doggy doo doo, so. Yeah, an abhorrent level indeed. <laughs> Oh, not too bad. You can, see right along. Levels, you can see these levels as much more guards than just the regular sneaking levels. So you have to be really careful with your ammo count. Don't just spray. Um, speaking of sneaking missions, uh, Limes and Platonic, do you have a, a favorite mission? Uh, just oh, for sneaking by chance with no weapon? Oh, okay. It's no level, I forgot which one it is. So that's 10, that's level yeah. 10. Um, man. Maybe 6? I've, I've, really, I've really grown into 6, especially with the recent science we did with that. Yeah. So... <clears throat> yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, the previous record for 6, level 6, was 635 without theme, and that was the task level. And then a few weeks ago, all of a sudden, my uh, file was like, oh yeah, I beat the task. No lean, just casually. <laughs> and then, Limes and Platonic got about 80 to 90 630s to my 1. Yep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we do believe 626 is possible. And that's the current grind that's going on right now. That previous level, level 1, that's a perfect example of how much me had an effect on this game. That level was 170, if I remember correctly, for years. That's right. Yeah. For years. It just seemed like impossible to beat because you're just running straight. Then Lean came along. Oh yeah, there's six more frames to be seen. Oh, but before before the Lean, there was that like equip glitch, like the weapon oh. equip. Yeah, run. there's a little acceleration uh, glitch or something. Like if you if you like start the level, take a step, and then like equip your weapon. I think you can like ex and then run and gun. You can accelerate a little further for like a brief moment, and it brought that level down from a 174 to a 1.7 when the current task was made. Um, so a lot of little little things to, to save time over the years but by far the biggest oversight and that really broke this game was the lean i'm so glad that it happened though it hit me really hard and i'm always open about this kind of stuff which is really healthy in my opinion but like it that was the greatest thing to like happen because now you have two variations to play the game one's taken more seriously obviously is the lean for the quickest and then you got like the no lean too, because with lean, new records are becoming possible where the no lean stat you can get now a lower time. And it's really neat how that works out. So there's even like more variation with when the lean got brought forth. And I am truly happy that it was found. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure at first it, it kind of ticked us some people off because of all the hours that like many of us put into this game and then all the records are just obsolete by one little trick. Oh yeah, I, I think I'll be the first to well, I think people will admit that, but I'll be the first, and you guys all know this, that hit me extremely hard. 
because I like this is the one game that I devote my life to when it comes to speedrunning. Yeah, when when Limes got that, it was like, ooh, you know, all that time, you know what I mean? It's just like gone. But it's not that it's gone. It was just really hard to to take in at the moment because there was so much excitement with the new strat and everything. It's like, oh man. But I, I came back to calibrate it myself, and you know, I just had respect for what was going on. And now it's nothing but great times, honestly. But that's the life of speedrunning, man. That's what happens. New eras come about you and new straps and stuff. So I guess since we're now 10 levels in, so we've transitioned onto the weapon mode levels. Basically, it's self-explanatory. We just blow up targets and then just head for the goal. Just fancy target practice. This is actually a really neat level because there's like a, like two ways to do this. You can run all the way around and use the C4 to detonate like safely. Or you can do what he just did, which is the quick method. Yeah. That's what truly makes this game shine for like variety. There's usually a multitude of ways to express of how you want to complete the goal. And it really makes you think, especially when you haven't played the game before. So... I mean, some of you might have noticed, but a lot of these levels are shaped after things. So that previous level was actually a smiley face. Um, it's gonna be late, later on. You might see like question marks, exclamation points, stuff like that. Um, you can see that the developers were really creative with feet with VR one. Just yeah, like, there's from everything, like how the levels are designed, guard placement mechanics. Like, honestly, the complexity of simplicity truly shines with this game. You got the levels that are- you got one level shaped like an exclamation mark. The question mark. I mean, that's really cool. This one right here. Speaking of, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it really be really chill with the radar, especially. Right, yeah. You gotta be really careful with these orange targets, because they obviously are exploding targets. and. You don't get much health on these levels, so you get basically just your default health bar. You can take a half damage hit from one of these, but if you get a direct hit, you're dead. <laughs> there you go. Uh, here's the next gotta... Yeah. yeah here's the next these one. targets are very safe, they're just little tickles. And uh, for any MGS2 fans in the chat, uh, you might notice this level and other levels of VR for flashbacks in the game. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna say right now these levels suck, specifically level three and level five. Oh, grenades. Yeah. Yes, especially since I don't have 360 degree analog, it makes it really difficult. I think it was a couple of years ago. I used to joke around about like imagine doing a keyboard really? run of this game. But you're literally doing that in front of my eyes. That grenade just didn't want to stick. Yo, what no, what? <laughs> no. Alright, this level sucks. Oh, I remember when you grinded this level for the IL. Oh yeah, this I... level interesting. Alright, that's good. I'll take that all day long. All day, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So one of the tricky parts about that level is um, usually when you throw the grenades at the targets, there's like a platform that they sit underneath. So if you hit the platform close enough, it's usually good. But one of the targets is just floating in the air, so you need to throw that grenade on top of it and have it stick. There's no platform underneath it. Alright, and these have a few tricky throws as well and are just as bad. That's fine. Good. Honestly, I'll always preach this, all of us kind of do, but it would be so cool to have a VR level editor, like for MGS1 and MGS2. Oh. Like Super Mario Maker style? Yeah, like yeah literally VR, VR Maker, dude. Yeah. Just VR Maker. Yeah. All MGS yeah. characters and stuff. Everything, skins, objects, everything. It, it, it would be, it would be a dream come oh. through, and that's all I would play. So, 
Yeah, that's all I would play for. Like that, just I. That's retirement right there. Like, so, I'll just email Konami later on. See what they say about it. I've literally thought about like just <laughs> like, or, like making a Twitter account just to tweet at like Kojima. Be like, yo, money grab. Just so you know. Keep <laughs> <laughs> <Easy> money grab. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, so, oh. so the claymore levels, claymores are very unpredictable in this game as far as their blast radius and how much damage they can do to you. Um, you have to be super careful when putting down a claymore next to a target because you have a very good chance of just blowing yourself up for reasons, just flat out reasons. So they're just they suck. That was almost good. And this is probably the only time in an MGS speedrun where you'll ever see the runner equip the mine detector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's not by choice, the game just equipped it for you. It's nice, it's just convenient. Sometimes it's kind of like, oh, this item's actually in here? Alright, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Good. I'll take that. All right. Ton of targets here. Very nice. Oh, this is. I hate this level with a passion. Oh yeah. The... Okay, that worked. Okay, I need to get rid of this from my life. Okay. Nice. Okay. I mean, I have died on this level a few times when I've been so far away from these claymores. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you right? All right, that's good. Now it's gonna get much easier from here on out. Nicely done. Yeah. That was crispy. So Nikita. I really like the Nikita levels. They're one of my favorite weapons in VR. Not when I do that, but... <laughs> no, I just find them interesting. 50% of the time, They have a surprisingly big explosion radius. Like you can detonate the Nikita from uh, so early. Oh, I like how you pre-fire there. I see you held, held X there. Mm -hmm. the yep. Turn. Yeah, beautiful. Gotta gotta save them frames for sure. Oh yeah, babe. all of them. <laughs> the, these levels. Your record's gone. These levels are really tricky because I like to have the analog movement there just to be able to turn a little more precisely, but since I'm limited to just eight-way D-pad, a little tricky, especially a level five coming up. So this is a level where um you're inexperienced with it, going into first person view with Nikita can be useful. Yeah, I want the missile to like stay slow, so that's why I'm like constantly moving it around. And then I can get to this point here and just bada bang, bada boom. A lot trickier than that looks. Yeah, very much so. It'd be interesting to see the actual hitbox on the Nikita missile. Alright, worst weapon in the game by far. In the speedrun for sure, like, if, if we had to use Claymores actively, I would probably say that's worse, but yeah, I despise the PSG one. Especially, I feel like snipers and Metal Gear just get better as every game goes. MGS1 for me had one of the worst snipers. Just for the, just the fact that Snake has to crawl. <laughs> yeah, you got a prone. <laughs> and I feel like two made it better, then three made it better, then four made it just got better as every game went by. 
Yeah, the sniping in 3 is very fun, especially the yeah. boss battle at the end. That's epic. You can see why in, um, in MGS 1 and 2, I think for the most part, we just use the sniper by force because the game wants you to. I think there's a couple of occasions where we use the sniper in 1 because there's a convenient strat for it. And then in 3 and, and I think also 4, especially 3, um, the sniper is just so useful, especially the the one, the uh, most of the guns. Just That's got very, very, very powerful. But thankfully, these levels really aren't too bad to do. Even going for IL strats, it's not the worst ever. It's really bad on PC because of the D-pad. If you have proper analog, the being in the scope moves so much quicker. It's just so slow using the D-pad. <laughs> also, um, the game wants you to use the diazepam here to steady aims. To steady, uh, not aims. Steady yeah, uh, aim. Makes aim. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> aims in VR. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, to That's steady fun. snakes aim. But you can see yeah. mine just unequipping and re-equipping the PSG one really quickly, and that just resets it for you. Yeah, that's a huge key in the sniper missions, too. You know, to keep that stability like that. Probably my favorite weapon is the Stinger in MGS1 and MGS2. I just, I really enjoy it. Way more than two. Just a, oh, okay. just a cool weapon. Yeah, it feels like you have, like, a proper control of it. Compared what about to you, Platonic? You got, like, a favorite weapon? It um, would also be the Stinger, I guess. Maybe the M9. Oh. In 1, I don't really like the Stinger that much. I feel like it's kind of hard to aim compared to 2. I felt that way before, but as I did a lot more VR, I, in my opinion, really did change on it. I really have come to enjoy the, the Stinger. It's definitely not as fluid as MGS2 Stinger. No, no. no like, nothing two is smooth. <laughs> This is definitely boxy. The magazine, that's awesome. Did Blue oh, say that? Oh, okay. I, blue metal, that would be something Blue Metal would say. <laughs> I, uh, I'd probably have to go with the magazine because I'd be the one looking at it too. I don't oh, know. Book. One. Book. Yeah, book. Yeah. 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 I'd probably go with the Famas. Just because I like the weapon. So, someone mentioned why not run on PSTV for movement. Uh, there's two reasons. Actually, before I even say that, that specific part where Lines was aiming at the left target, that's a flashback in MGS2. Fun fact. Um, so, why he's not playing on PSTV? One, PSTV has uh, input lag. So, if you're gonna play on console, probably play on emulator, maybe a fast PS2 or something like that. Uh, secondly, PC has superior loads compared to any of console. So you sacrifice the analog movement for significantly faster loads. Yeah, like the record for this is an hour 47, <laughs> and it can come down. It'd be very hard to break sub two hours on, say, emulator, let alone make. You could probably do it on PSTV, it's just you gotta suffer with input lag. It's oh. just. I want it to be faster than PCs. The fastest, really. Do you think B-Man could somehow incorporate like a better controller for the PC? Our solution to everything in MGSR, B-Man fix it. Is yeah, right. B-Man. <laughs> yeah, he's he's an awesome coder, programmer, hacker, or whatever you want to call him, but. That kind of stuff is is hard coded into the game. It would be oh, okay. a challenge. I don't think that's possible. And that's the weapon mode. All forty levels. Very nice, nice. Yeah. One thing I'm not sure that was mentioned earlier. We're skipping all the practice levels. The practice levels are generally the same for the most part, except you get unlimited time and a huge amount of ammo. But so, but it makes the levels really no different. So that's why for uh, the time attack category, we just skip the practice levels because we're just doing the same levels over and over again. It's not a true 100%. It's just 
what the, if we agreed upon, it's a waste of time. So, about these advanced levels, at the start of it, it kind of looks like sneaking levels, but the thing about them here is that you can actually take alerts compared to sneaking level where it's game over if discovered. Yeah, taking alerts in these are very, very vital. Trying to do these on Game Over Discovered would suck. Risk it. Nice. Alright, that's still better than a continue, I think. <laughs> it was hairy. Nice. What that got used? Yeah. Backups are definitely yeah. the go to stack, guys. Yeah, back vital <laughs> yeah. in, in any speedrun. That is the ration, dude. So the game really wants me to use these C4s for the first couple levels here and there. I'm not going to use them. It's just easier to choke guards out. Like, that level is easy to do the C4. This next level, I'll choke these dudes out. Nice work trading blows there. <laughs> yep. What? Nasty. <laughs> I also like how you play C4s down in the goal. Just yeah, I gotta ha I gotta take it with me. Like. <laughs> and lure them up, blow them up once, have a nice day. This level's pretty fun because they turn at different cycles and then it's really simple. You just place C4 behind them, blow it all up at once. See you later. I wonder if you can. Do they move from the position? Only uh -huh. if you get an alert. I think maybe one or two of them will. Would it be possible to put a C4 in the middle and lure two of them in? That'd be interesting. I don't know if that worked though. So that's some IL science that we can do later on. The problem is the oh, way yeah. the scoring quick. The problem is the way the scoring system works in this game is you get a uh, time deduction if you get a sneaking bonus. Oh and if you yeah. get an alert, if you get an alert, you lose two of your three possible seconds automatically. So something like getting an alert intentionally really has to be worth it for the IL. Yeah, that might just be a, a relevant strat. And the game also oh, nice. gives you the game also gives you a time bonus um, for how much ammo you have left as well. So you have to manage your ammo, not get alerts, and you'll get a better time. So this is a level that I enjoy. You just run the straight line and you shoot them, but you also have to be careful. Um, I, I've fallen down there before. Sometimes I've even like missed and then a guard shoots me. Now if I remember correctly, I think this is also in the VR2 flashbacks. Oh, or it might be a little similar to it. I gotta be really careful of how these turrets can just lay on you like no other. Yeah, this is good. Right. Wow, go. that guard was just holding down. Yep. Hunkering down for the long run. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for you to peek. Yeah. Very nice. Interesting level. The game just gives you a platform to go and blow up that guard. A little height advantage with the grenade. Now, I think this is a level I remember you and 
my way. We're grinding for ILs. Uh, yes. Yeah, Plywood found like a weird seed where the guard would do like a, a weird animation exiting and it was quite a bit faster than the task. But you have to like chuck the grenade down there at just the right angle and it was super, super precise. It's really strange, but it, it beat the task by 0.13 seconds, which is quite significant. Incredible. Guard's just having a conversation there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We're back. <laughs> Very nice throw. Oh, I think that's one guard. Oh, that was unfortunate. They're like, why well, I'm him, boys. Alright, good too. Alright, decent backup. I, I recognize he wasn't dead, so... Critical hit. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna be either. I'm gonna choke this guard out as well. Just this guy, hopefully. Nice. Alright, not bad, not bad. Would be cool if the grenade, the grenade went off after the level was over. You see the explosion in the background. That, yeah, you that'd can be do that in VR too, so. Yeah. All right, like I said with the, the, the target levels with Claymore, Claymores are utter trash, and I'm gonna not use them very much. Yeah, see, just, you see. yeah they're just so unpredictable. It's just not worth it. Ay, 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 ay. That was probably the closest to come to getting a kneeling down in front of a Claymore. <laughs> Holy. Nice use of the uh, choke cancel. Something you'd see in full game as well, mm -hmm. like throw cancel. Basically, if you're choking or throwing a guard, and when you're done with that, or before you're done with that, just re equip your weapon and it takes you out of that animation. Wow. Nice. That's like the IL. That was nutty. Oh, wow. That last guard died? Beautiful. I knew he knew that. That's why I came back. Nice. Wait, what? Like I ate? Yeah, real quick. All right. Now this this last claymore level, we're. We're gonna choke this guard out, and then we're just gonna crawl our way to victory. Because in the in the main part of the level, there are claymore mines everywhere. Well, that light like freaks out when you got the alert. <laughs> okay, good. I actually want the alert here. This is good because it keeps that guard in place. Don't throw him. Did you use the keypad there for re-equipping the Claymore? I did, so that's probably the one thing you may want to mention. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. Yeah, uh, on the PC port exclusively for this game, um, and you'll see this more often in full game, it's such an important part for the full game run. Um, the numbers on your keyboard are assigned to weapons. I believe it's like one for SOCOM, two for CHAP, or whatever. I don't know the exact numbers. Um, you can use it for fast menus rather than holding R2 and going into your menus. Just type in the, the number that you want for whatever specific weapon and you can go into that. Limes use that to save a small frame saver to re-equip the claymore and do a choke cancel. So two glitches in one, or two mechanics in one. A lot of stairs with this level. But... Oh, going on the inside of that level with the Nikita is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Doing what you just did is beautiful. Yeah, a little cheese, probably 
intended, but... Oh yeah, maximum cheese, but still. <laughs> Quickest way. And in GS3 you have really long ladders, in this game you have really long stairs. And that poor one guard alone just up there. This guard, or this, this level can have a little bit of RNG because, yeah, all the guards are grouped at the top, but depending on, like, what angle and where the missile hits them, sometimes I can kill two or three, sometimes I can get an instant kill and get them all at once, so I may have to fire this twice. Yep, I'll have to fire twice. So just stun the other three. That, that's a pretty common thing. So there's gonna be another level later on where guards are just uh, platforms up by themselves, and the game wants you to have some sort of like domino effect uh, to take them all out. I believe it's gonna be the special levels later on. Now this is a level that Philo's gonna enjoy. I love this level. This is one of my favorite levels, despite the I record. Yeah, I, I tried to go quick and go IL strat <laughs> type, but yeah, I missed. Hell yeah, putting swag strats in there. Uh, that level's extremely quick. Hello? Hit the dude. <laughs> wow. Wait, what the? PSG1 is just a bad weapon. <laughs> it's a really bad weapon. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta go back to PSG1 eventually. We'll get there though. This level has that guard that sneaks up onto the left of you on that pathway. Which is really interesting when you take your time. Oh, I like that camera angle change there. When you go left. Yeah, it's kind of weird. This level is utter trash on D-pad only because you have to move so much and it moves so slow. Oh, this level. It's so bad. <laughs> now, I know I mentioned MGS2 flashbacks before, but uh, in the sniping section, MGS2 with Emma, uh, there's a codec call where Raiden specifically mentions either this level or the one that's coming up. I can't remember which one, but I think it's I'm pretty one. sure it's this one. Yeah. Which is kind of weird, it doesn't look anything like it, I don't understand. This is like circular and you're in the center. This is an interesting map. This is the one where you can get a flat in real time on, right? Yep. So you gotta tell the full bullet kind of thing. No, just, you do it so quick that, because the, like, the game gives you 50 bullets. So oh, the time, yeah. like the bonuses just outweigh like, um, like, it's very easy to give zero on this level. It, it doesn't take much. I think you have to get it done in less than 14 seconds. Alright. Final weapon. Back to Stinger. We're gonna Stinger all these, uh, enemies. And there's actually... Level 5 is another possible zero level that you could get a zero on. It's really... Hard to do though. Ooh. Probably explain what the zero levels are. So, like Blinds mentioned earlier, um, these levels have bonuses assigned to them. Like sneaking bonus if you get no alerts, you get like minus two or three seconds. Uh, you also get minus, t you get your time reduced based on the ammo count that you have uh, afterwards. So, in specific cases where the bonuses are actually higher, than the amount of time it took you to- Why are you alive? That is a weird card. <laughs> what the heck? That's Did a three. Just... I think it's a three. <laughs> That's Jeez. crazy. Just refusing to die. <laughs> Guard should usually take one, if not two, never three. So yeah, I was mad. <laughs> so 
So yeah, um, in those certain cases that I mentioned earlier, um, you, the game just has just gives you so much time, reduces your time so much for the bonuses that it just defaults to a flat zero 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 score or zero zero time. So that that Ooh, is advanced yeah, yeah. mode. So we're gonna head back to special mode. This is kind of the first of a couple like auto scrollers, if you will, the one minute battle levels. You have to take out as many targets or as many enemies as you can in a minute. And in a setting like this, you can't speed up that minute. So you get your set minimum, which I think on this level is like only 10. And then you can technically just sit here and not do anything for the rest of the level. And there's 18 of these. But going for the records in these, they're nauseating, they're awful. Like a level like this has a record of 50. And it is so, so hard to get that number. Albeit with that being said, we welcome all VR runners. Anybody that wants to try and play this game, please come and do so. It's an amazing game, amazing community. Now we're gonna take targets out with the SOCOM and then just go through every weapon, basically. Sparty has anything to say? I mean, this is now's a good time, I guess. Like, it's not as hard enjoyable though to do. Um, just happy blowing up targets, especially the ones that come afterwards with the enemies. Yeah, the enemies are, are way more fun than the targets. There's there's some pretty frustrating target levels, especially uh, Grenade and Claymore coming up. A couple of them I like, but the majority of them I really don't. And the good thing about this is that um, ammo count isn't really a thing. Like, you don't get bonuses for it, unlike the previous ones with advance and stuff like that. So in some cases, you can't be, like, trigger happy if you want to. Some levels like these, you do have to watch your health because if you do die, you're gonna lose time, obviously. Yep. Gotta be, can't blow yourself up. And I believe sometimes they'll do like a lot of damage, maybe like how close you are to the explosion or how many yep. multiple of them explode. Yeah, the record for this, which I think uh, Anon holds is like 104 in a minute, which is just ridiculous. I have like 95, but that's Ooh. still insanely difficult. Yeah, I think the key to this is uh, comboing them together. Just getting as many blown up as possible. Um, so, what's interesting is um, these one minute battles, comparing human scores to what the TAS is capable of, especially like the PSG-1, that was insane when I first saw it. Oh yeah, the PSG one task, that's ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but being able to like see what you're truly capable of as a human and then compete against other humans while having the task, that's really cool. This level is a beast. So my PB is a 69. Nice. <laughs> um, records of 73. You're not allowed to put your PB, sorry. No, no, oh, I have wow, to keep it. Close. Yeah, I have not replicated that sense. I can get 60s consistently, but 70 is just ridiculous. Eventually, someday it'll be me. Oh yeah, I'm sure. One of us will get to it. But yeah, it's definitely an insane, insane time right now with storage to say. Yeah, it's just uh, chiming in. Nothing new. 
to add, but just wanted everyone to know that this event, Metal Gear Tactical Espionage Affiliation, or MGT, is a celebration of this channel. Just going with the Twitch affiliate. Uh, we have plenty of runs later tonight, more VR after this. We have a replay race uh, tomorrow, and then Sunday we have uh, plenty more action coming your way. So that's just what I wanted to say. Take it away. Appreciate it. Ooh, that was nice. It blew up everyone here. Yeah, record for this I think is in the 160s. I think I think TAS approaches 200. It takes some really creative throws and some really weird cycles to get a number like that in a minute. Even as I'm spamming grenades, that doesn't guarantee a high score. It's all about cycles. But in an RTA run, since this is kind of an auto scroll, who cares about the score? You just got it done. Yep. Just get your minimum, clear it, and have a nice day. One to get Okay, this one I have a huge beef with. It is trash because claymores are trash. So what I do is just stand in one place, I guarantee yes, myself uncle. not to die, and I walk away from it. I do remember going for this level and just constantly dying. It just feels weird, the hitbox does. There's like a pattern, and then eventually it becomes random, right? That's what happens? I think it's because of which ones you're blowing up, that eventually. Yeah. Becoming random, but there might be RNG as we'll see with it as well. Which ones get blown up where they spawn afterwards? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of random the hitboxes because claymores are just weird, and then the respawn. But the, the pattern itself is consistent, they'll always come back to the middle. Yeah, um, but when they blow up and when they respawn, I'm sure there's timing to it, but just not feasible to figure out in real time. Oh, that one just didn't want to blow up. <laughs> All right, safety for the win. I really like this Nikita level. I have record on this level. That's probably why I like it. Oh, nice. What is it, like 107? 117, I believe. And I, it can go higher. It can probably go into the 120s. Mm. But we're gonna we're gonna try to land on a special number, just for the memes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seventy. <laughs> Seventy. Oh, Sparty, please! Like, oh man. There we go. <laughs> Have tasks like reflexes for these levels with like uh, 3000. Oh my god, no. Not, not with D pad. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, this is what the level of the enemy one that I was talking about, where the task just like shoots 70,000 enemies per second. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Funny enough, I hate yeah. PSG1, but this, I actually kind of like this level on console. Um, I got, I did get record in it, and I did find it enjoyable. Eventually. I think record's like 65 or something. Yeah, this level task is outlandish. <laughs> Level or a different one. Um, 
The UFO one? The UFO oh, that, one. That's in variety, not in one minute battle. Oh, never mind. It's, the, the layout looks similar, it's a different color. Yeah. Uh, and you do the same thing. You just have to hit 20 targets, so you'll see that later in variety 11. Yeah, I think fun. all the blocks are gray. Uh, it's actually green. Like a green. bright green. Yeah. Bright green, okay, that's bad. Yeah, all the variety levels are like a bright green, similar to puzzle. So is that also that level where um, all the targets approach you slowly and it gets really difficult for they to blow up, cause damage, or is it this one? No, that's um, variety eight, I or seven or eight, one of the two. That might be a PB for that level. Oh, nice. oh that, really? Yeah, I'm, I have to go back and uh, look at that. For you. Well, do you have 50 right now? I think I have like a 50 maybe. It might move me up a spot. Ooh. Let's hope so. That'd be dope. One minute battle stinger, right? Yeah. I'm yep. oh, sorry, a target, not enemy. Target. Yeah. Yeah, it was a PB. You had a 15. Oh, congratulations. Does it move, does it move me up? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm gonna... no, actually, actually, you were tied second. So I guess the guy below you, guy is the third. Oh, well, maybe I'll submit it anyway. So now we're on to the one minute battle, trying to kill guards. You only need four to clear this level. Record's close to 30 with this. It's ridiculous. That's not bad. Pretty on that level. Dang. This level's fun. And you got the current record in this level, right, Lance? I believe I'm. I think I'm tied or I'm plus one. One of the two. No, you're uh, first. One minute bats for so, so cool. Yeah. yeah. Enemy as well. Okay. Yeah, you're. You have, you have a 15 stat. I got a 46 yeah. I woke up and it was beat. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I do remember you and Violet doing this level. Yeah, we went back and forth for a bit. That little strategy thing about hanging around, hanging around somewhere to lure guards in. Yeah, I think uh, up, you know. the trick you guys were using was uh, preserving the alerts. So yeah, sometimes yeah. you like delay killing guards just so that the alert stays and more spawn in towards you. Yep. That's pretty exactly. good. Nice, dude. Yeah, I have the large majority of records in, in this game. There's only like maybe 15 levels I don't know. Which is quite amazing. Yeah, that is insane. I'm trying to get more. Come on, come on, give me... <laughs> kind of got to get him in some sort of a loop here. You, you'd like to try to get all five at once and just constantly loop it, but it's, it's a little precise to pull that off. <laughs> One min cycle. Claymore targets. <laughs> Plywood. Nice. <laughs> the, the one record he still owns for now. He's just going to hang on to that for life. This level's got a crazy trick to it, too. The delivering guards and stuff. Yeah, ideally you want to, like, have them spawn from the north and south positions and not have them spawn in the east and west. Um, the record for this level is ridiculous. I think it's, it's in... I don't know if it's 50 or it's close to 50. One minute battle versus enemy class. Might as uh, well keep them up at this point. <laughs> It's a 49, wow, it's pretty close. 49, yeah. I think I beat Anon by one or two. Yeah, by one. 
which is very nice. Speaking of Thanos, has he ever, or has that individual ever come into the chat or ever spoke out? Uh, He's been offline for years. Oh, yeah. okay. It's definitely been away from the community for forever. <laughs> So on that note, he's on an alt account, keeping tabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's secretly me. <laughs> yeah. Nobody retires from this game. Nobody. Yes, Sparty is actually on. He's been hiding his MGS1 attack skills from us. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh, that was a great nice. That is a really good score for this level. I think that's two off record. Ooh, record's 24, right? Yep, it's 23. Still it was tw 23's record. Yep, tied by three people. So that's pretty close. Very nice yeah. run. That's so hype. Holy crap. I do like the way enemies bounce in this game. It's kind of like they float in the air for a second. <laughs> Kill one more. Maybe. I just I'm now I'm just playing to survive. Oh, yeah. Like that's I don't want to die to a claymore. Get greedy and get 20. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm done. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait. Yep, 21. That's a good score. Records ridiculous. <laughs> I love this level. There's a nice loop you can do. This level. Oh, you lure him with the explosion, right? get knocked down. I would have maybe had a chance at record. <laughs> oh, the guard takes 50 hits. Yeah, 38. That's pretty good. Wow. Very nice, dude, considering our guard was knocked down. Yeah. That would have been like 42. Actually. What's, what, what was that record for that one? 40. Yeah, what was that? 40 is record? record? Yeah. Wow, I thought it was I'm, 41. Huh. I'm pretty sure that would have been 42 plus. That's insane, man. Holy macro. <laughs> hey, there's another one that I was talking about where the task just like shoots ridiculously fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no Pentan design. Yeah, it's just like shoot, reload, shoot, reload. It's like you can barely see anything happen. All you see is just enemies falling down. <laughs> Record for this level. 37. Not by me or by me? Uh, I don't. Add on. 37. This is an interesting level. This game rocks, man, seriously. 33. That was getting there with the. That was Some nice. Of these are just <laughs> Some of these are just easier on PC for whatever reason. I don't get it. Add your own PV without them, by the way. Nice. 
We gotta do VR after I uh, get done here. <laughs> Go for some more records. Oh, you know, I'll be hanging out. Oh, man. But yeah, these can be fun. You get in a groove like that, these levels can, can really be fun. This is a level where I got salt, yeah, because I was at 39. I had a few seconds left. There was a guard right in front of me. It's got 40. <laughs> and I just kept shooting the floor. <laughs> To the mystery. I hate slimes. <clears throat> Those were me. I tried for a while to record. So, Platonic, why don't you explain what these levels are all about? So, these levels, there's always a clue to how to solve it. There's always going to be like three guards for most of them, and all of them have committed a crime where they've killed the guard right in front of you. And the clue is whatever the guard is holding. Um, so in this case, he was holding a sock, and it just happened to be that this guard's mask was a sock. So you know it was him who did So in this case, it seems like the enemy was having a popsicle. Um, the guards can sometimes be RNG, just so people don't reset um, and try everyone. Yeah, that, that particular one, the clue is, or the, the giveaway is, you can't see his breath, which... It took me a while to figure out when I was a kid. I would just always randomly guess. So this clue here is that this guard is nearsighted. So we're just going to drag him away from the wall, and whoever ends up bumping themselves into the wall is the guy who's nearsighted. Metal one. There you go. If I the funny thing is, you can't just guess with this level, you actually have to do that because it triggers, like, you can take that guard to the goal. At least, that's what the task did, so I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, this this one, you just have to chase this particular guard before he exits the level, and then drag him into the goal. Capture the fleeing criminal. They try to mix it up with uh, a bunch of guards running around, but if you have an eyeball, just know which guard it is, you're, you're good. Now this level is very fun. Um, me, Limes, Platonic, and Plywood were going at Mystery one night. Plywood got a record, and uh, then Limes ended up getting this one. But we, we went back and forth with quite a bit of Mystery levels, and this one was really, really cool. Limes figured out just a way to like get the guard into a chokehold super quickly, and like drag him to the goal. I'm so pretty sure the clue here that. is that the guard is Johnny. Um, and is if he's played MG, it's one full game. The clue is how does Johnny fall down on the floor compared to other guards? Alright, so this level has a few different patterns um, for the snow. I think I'm gonna guess. Great guess! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, man. That's how it's done with it. Is that record? No, no, it's like four or something for record. I think oh, okay. for a record, you have to like buffer at um, the, the, what do you call it? The initial screen where it's describing the level for you. Yeah, similar to a level in a game, too. Yep. All right, and this last level before level 10, we're gonna put this on a little hair really piece. Cool. Yeah, I really like this level because it's like the only item that you get to use, and it like a solid like VR one. <laughs> but it's like an item that's like only here. It's fucking. That's so cool. So this one should be pretty obvious. You put on a mask, and the guard salutes you. All right, and now we have come to the literal auto scroller of the game. <laughs> we have to wait five minutes. Portopia series. Maybe. The game wants us to solve this murder. There are a bunch of items and clues around the room that you can actually look into. 
it gives you like a little mini cutscene that you're looking into it, which loses time, so we're not going to look at any items. Um, but there's a special surprise at the end. You can't do anything to speed this level up. So for the next five minutes, we're just going to sit and do nothing but promote and do something <laughs> and talk. Is there so, a, a herb in this room from like Resident Evil series? Like it's a little plant or something like that? I think. I don't want to look around the room and accidentally look at it, so I don't know. Maybe I can oh, try okay, looking yeah. at it from afar. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, this has been a great run I, so far. Oh, so, there it is on the floor, bottom right. We can yeah, uh, there it is. <laughs> let everyone know that coming up next, we have plywood or egg boy, excuse me, or plywood. No, it is plywood. Yeah, it's plywood. Ghost Babble VR. Then, followed by that is Ed Boy. He'll do some MGS2 VR. Um, then we got Mega Man Legends, Resident Evil 2. And then that'll wrap up today. Tomorrow, we will start with our relay race, the rations versus the calorie mates. So we start that with MGS2. Easy, uh, very easy. Makarov versus Mayu. Then we go to MGS3. Myself versus Joseph Joestar. Then we go to Twin Snakes. Uh, Blue Metal against Tyler. And finally, MGS1, we have the Lime battle. D-Lime's 13 taken on Lime. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Orang. Orang, thank you. There we go. And just let everyone know this uh, event is celebrating the Metal Gear Speedrunners Twitch channel going affiliate. Um, we had some incentives, which was crushed already. So at 25 subs, Mini did his run. Um, at 35 subs, Apache Smash, he was going to do a tuxedo run, and that already got hit. <laughs> So thank you to everybody who has been subbing, who has been donating. Um, just a great part of this marathon and great to be in this community. There was actually a, a 50 sub incentive to see all the cutscenes at the last run of the marathon for Metal Wolf Chaos. Uh, that was met in like the first four seconds today. We have 102 or 100, I think 102 subs right now. Ridiculous. Plus, plus the 200 bucks that we got so far today unreal by the community in just a day i mean we have two more days of this stuff left like it's it's so it's just unreal um but i'll do one i'll look at one item um just to show you what the cutscene would look like what should i look at Ooh. give me the item to look at Ooh. <laughs> um i guess the metal gear thing that's on the shelf the bookshelf yeah, that's right. probably one of the coolest items in the room, to be honest. So that, so there's your cutscene. Can there you, you uh, clip anywhere in this room? Like, under the desk or anything? Oh, uh, that guy's uh, clipped. <laughs> yeah, that would be actually kind of cool to amp this room up like that. Under the chair, perhaps? <laughs> That'd be messed. Oh. The friend clip out of this room and in the triggers outside skip five minutes oh my god he goes to the sniper battle sniper wolf battle from mgs1 trying but it's not letting me <laughs> hmm. you can doesn't, doesn't the wanna... <laughs> yeah good old mgs1 mechanics we can try to leave but no, can't do it. Also, I like how the level starts with Snake literally kicking the door open. Just can't open it with his hands. Right, there's a door knob and he just like punch, punch, <laughs> kick. <laughs> That's the cool right. way to open doors. So we're coming up on the end of the level. For the longest time when I was a kid, I would like get to around this point. I'm like, what do you even do for this level? So I'd restart it. So, because I was like, I'm gonna run out of time. I'm not gonna get it done in five seconds or whatever. But little did I know that I needed to just let the timer run. Yeah, hey. <laughs> I feel like everyone's done it at least once. It's kind oh, of the point of the level, just to throw you off.
Wow, that five minutes went by super quickly. What the heck? It yeah. did. It was good. But I love how his like uniform has no stain of ketchup on it. Right? <laughs> Walks away un unscathed. As Underwater Smoking likes to say, I wonder what it would and Glenn, I guess, Metal Glenn Solid, I, what it would be like to just sit in a like puddle of ketchup. Maybe we'll have Weird. to try it sometime. Uh, I'm not doing that. Screw that. A <laughs> piece of content. MGSR Runner try weird MGS mechanics. MGSR Runner makes a, a fully virtualized room of the Mystery Run 10 level and spends five minutes in it on a bottle of ketchup. You have Direct. the... Actually, speaking of this level, you have the current world record for this level, don't you, Limes? I do. I originally yeah. beat the task without the lean. That was uh, one of a few tasks I beat without the lean. Give me a hundred dollars on two. <laughs> That's awesome. I like how that uh, I'm, I'm, just slides. I'm cool. half tempted to say if we get to like 300 subs, I'll I'll go on stream and just get in a pool of ketchup, but I'm not committing to that, so pass. <laughs> Yeah, make it like a plastic bottle, not like actual glass shards. No, like I would just buy a bunch of ketchup, put it like in a little kiddie pool, and then just swim in it. <laughs> well. Alright, I'll do this. <laughs> oh, this level's interesting. I remember when you and Philo were going back and this forth. This level, but... me and Limes were back to back okay. on this level. Limes one up me on this level eventually. Um. And I believe he has the current record for it. Is that really how the PC deals with the invisible cards? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm in software rendering mode too, so that's part of it. But yeah, it's thing. jank. <laughs> it's so stock, hey? For anyone who doesn't know, these guards are supposed to be invisible in the console versions and non-software mode for PC. But... <laughs> Like oh, the, this is what bad graphics gets you. The pinky demons on Super Nintendo for Doom. When you play that game, it's just like, yeah, they're just full of like white code. It's messed up. <laughs> Where's the invisible enemy? Alright, this is the terrifying level that we mentioned earlier where you have to hit targets and they get closer and closer to you. And they get too close, you get a game over or you just blow yourself up. So I'm gonna concentrate. It's mostly for the last wave. If you notice in the background here, I'm pretty sure that's in the indication of a mountain. We're trying to be somewhat of one. Which is really cool. Yeah. Let's give you some other examples, but like I mentioned earlier, developers are really creative with the background of this game. Yeah, that adds so much to the atmosphere. Yep. Do we have a second, guys? We do. Um, yeah. So Ike Man has upped underwater smoking and donated $70. Ah. Woo! Right. Make up for all the help everyone in this amazing community has given me since joining. Cheers, everyone. Thank you, Iceman. Thank you, Iceman, as I fail the level. But I was really shit, dude. Close to the end. Yeah. Like I said, they, they Yeah, it's it's been it's been really something to, to watch for sure. We do love you guys, every single one of you. This may be biased, but this is definitely one of the most loving and passionate communities. <laughs> Seriously. Everybody in here is so diverse, it's amazing. I mean, that goes with every community, but this one especially. This is some very intelligent minds in this community. Always help the people out and stuff. Nice combo at the end there. Right, Mac? Yeah, loving for sure.
this level is very tricky because you have uh, moving targets and you cannot kill the guards. You get a you kill the guards, an instant game over. I really it makes enjoy it this level. Um, due to the fact that it's one of the few, if not only, levels where you can snipe on a down slant. Right, which and I'm about to do. Really yeah, you, I had your point. You kind of have to. Like, the IL strat, there's a very precise spot where you don't have to. Yeah. But, oh no. It, it, it's just you so better cool come back how out. Like, it's just, instead of a cube, it's just like the half slant. It just, that diversity makes for so much variation in the game. You got this. That's not good. I missed the shot, so I have to wait for him to wake up again, I think. And I don't have... Can you dies lure that guard by shooting the ground? No, this is an MGS2. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, if, if it was MGS2, absolutely. But yeah, these, these guards are low IQ, so... <laughs> Yeah, one of the things that I love about this game is literally the colors of the stages, how they represent difficulty. It it it, it represents like the Atari, Atari days when the difficulty of the stages were represented literally by color. Like dark purples and violets and blues were like the harder stages for like the Pac-Mans and the Battle Tanks levels. This level is always like difficult to represent like an actual like two different game. I love that. Potato, let's go. Jeez. PC movement for you. Yeah, but regardless of PC movement, you're doing extremely well. Like, it's gonna be, it'll be hard to even, like, match this. Unless you're, like, actually, like, running this specific category. But all runners are welcome. Yeah, even if I mean even if full game doesn't interest you just pick a level just start playing and you'll you'll get addicted trust me yeah, <laughs> oh yeah this game is addictive dude. I said I'd retired like two times already among many other people in the community and we're still in so this has some pretty good music too it's really nice to listen to the music in this game Impressive. Now we just do the same thing, but with a uh, FAMAS instead. This is a really fun level because you can like, even though it's not for League Boys, you can make just like for fun, do runs with like the least amount of ammo used, which is like free shot for all targets. Mm -hmm. Obviously extremely hard, but a good challenge for anybody that plays up for it. Um, I actually downloaded uh, Peace Walker on my Xbox One recently. Um, I've been kind of playing the campaign of it just to get some items and whatnot. There's two levels that interest me big time. It's the one that's at 11 seconds currently, and you start out by going up a little staircase or whatnot. I won't get too much into Peace Walker because this is VR. But... All right, this is going to be the <laughs> UFO level, like we mentioned earlier. It's similar to the one-minute battle, uh, but we just have to take out 20 targets. It's not all of them, just 20. Um, and then they'll all eventually blow up, and then you'll see the little fun surprise. That one target was just, like, on your face. Right, but I knew I had, like, a lot of health, so I could just take a hit. Ah, you're like in my face. <laughs> it's like grinding your nostrils at this point. <laughs> wow, it's actually inside of you. I'm impressed. CPR is everything. Easter eggs on boss fights. So if you're quick enough with your shots, you can actually get a little bit of a faster ending, which I just got. The UFO blew up way faster than it normally would because I Did got just... super quick shots off. Yeah. I didn't punch, punch, kick it. It looked like it, but I didn't PPK it. Nice whiff. 
Nice whiff again. All right, that works. Yeah, this level is really cool, just for the fact that there's another Metal Gear Solid character on the screen. Just using her. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't state that, but you know. <laughs> so interesting to think about this level is, unlike the other time attack specials and others, this actually has no timer. I'm not gonna touch Meryl again because she'll die on one more hit. This Gino just won't give up. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna hide. Now the camera can't see us. Nice. <laughs> so. There, there's a fun little cheese that I learned about like three weeks ago that I never knew about with this level or at least how to execute it. So just watch. I love that water effect too, hey? It, it, that's yeah, the that's in the game that you see that it's, there. It's really nice. It's a nice touch for an old game like that. But uh, now we're onto the VR mission where it's 10 oh. consecutive stages. Um, and it's, it's, it's wrapped up into one stage, but you do 10 consecutive levels and you just basically try to survive and get to the goal, picking up various weapons, doing various tasks. I really like the layout of this level 2 here for VR mission. Yeah, it's some of these levels are pretty good. Some of these levels are really, really jank. Oh, I got shot. That's Monka for later. You don't get much health, um, which if you restart the level um, or take a continue, you can you just start back at the stage you failed on. But yeah, I got to be careful on level 5 for sure. Good chance I take a continue here. Alright, I'm just gonna wait, because there's a guard in front. Uh, try this. I really gotta wait on this guard, because if I take another nice. hit, it's, I'm done. Safe, but it's still better than a continue. If I had an extra hit the spare, I, I would have just charged at the guard, but I didn't want to risk dying. <laughs> There's There's level's like, not a thing. See, you know, full game of GS1 where Rex is located. Um, unequipping and re-equipping your weapon really fast silences your footsteps over noisy floors. Ah, uh, by mashing the R1 button. Right? Uh, yeah, R1. Yeah. I was gonna say R2, I forgot. That this I game really like this level and the one the previous you just played because it's got like a crawl space to a secret item and also a security camera with some uh, floors that squeak. So it's got like a little bit of everything in it despite how small it is, it's actually pretty cool.
Oh, that was very nice. That is very tricky to pull that off in one yeah. try. That, that grenade throw at the start is utter trash. That level can be like, you know, the make it or break it for that entire like, level there. And here we have a very creative uh, level design right here, which is the fox hound. The fox. Oh, is it really a fox? Yeah, it's a fox, fox face. Oh, that's cute. Alright, not too bad. A little slow on the exit, but that'll work. Yeah, I survived. I love how they use, like, the white to outline, like, the face of it. I wonder if they back out of it. Or if they'll show it. No, right. they don't. Here's, uh, five different people's. Oh, no, this is level three. one, level three. Yeah. It's one person's favorite of at least. Yeah, this is Apache Smash's favorite level by far. Yeah, Apache did an amazing job on this level. Actually, it's the first time I've ever seen him grind a Metal Gear Solid VR Missions level like so extensively. It really was like, kind what his potential was. That was fun. Yeah, the ninja cool. levels are a lot of people's favorite just because you get to play as the ninja. It's just, it's different. Yeah, I don't care for him personally. It's not just snake with a blade. It, there's different mechanics. You have stealth camel, you get this weird jumping mechanic. His movement is different. Yeah, you can also like do an ash and cancel, which is like, as you straight forward with the blade, you can cancel it to like not go as far. To hinder your movement to make for quicker strats in a speedrun. It's interesting that they made all these mechanics for only three levels. Yeah, right? Talk about that diversity. I really oh, think that my health yes. is in jeopardy. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die. You got this. Yeah, I saw Papa Sapa. Ah, nope, almost. I took too many hits at the beginning. That's that was my problem. Okay, that was very close though. Okay, good stuff. It's a lot of time loss, but oh well. Besides the first level in this one, that's the only death that happened. That's very inspirational. Just wanna jump in real quick. Miss Chelsea gifting a tier sub, a tier one sub to Iceman. Thank you, Miss Chelsea. Nice. Beautiful. Shout out to Miss Chelsea. Exceptional MGS2 thing. Uh, get the three pack. It's interesting how there's no like radar for the ninja at all. Not even jamming. I think he's back at the beginning. What? He spawned in that room? <laughs> what? Crazy. Oh wait. Where'd he go? Did Where'd you go? Up? Where are ya? Stupid guard. Where are you? Oh, you. Doofus. I can't see him. <laughs> he was just like hiding from you. What a doofus. Alright, this is Philo's favorite level. Nice. I'll let either one of you explain it. Uh. Philo? This level um, <laughs> it requires extreme position just because it's like so optimized. And you can't get spotted. Gun. Yeah, you the can't knee. get spotted. And there's a very specific line that you have to take. Albeit with that being said, um, the time, the current time can be surpassed. Uh, me and Lion have both stayed with this. It just takes a Yeah, what's interesting about this level is the rules are reversed. Usually it's you, Solid Snake going after the guards, but this time, you're the ninja going after Solid Snake. 
and there's three spawn positions for snake. One's A, B, C position, A is on the left side, uh, B is at the top, and C is on the right. And the best positioning for speedruns is you want them on the left side, which is A side. All right, now we're on to the final wave of levels, NG selection. I want to say it stands for no good selection, just some random <laughs> hodgepodge that they decide to throw into the game. New you just selection. pick up. I have you to admit, go. the one thing I don't know about this game, or the few things, is I don't know what NG stands for in this game. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that. So, got a unique guard here, just because of reasons. No, this is a Yep, we have another donation. Five dollars from Mac McD. He says it's not much, but I have to contribute to this community. I love you all. Every donation is appreciated. Thank you, Mac, for your generosity. Yeah, love you, dude. That's amazing, Mac. It's not about the donation, the money amount. It's about just doing it itself. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Philo, that's the level that you were talking about earlier, where the guard's vision is just so insane. Yeah, that's... Is that even... Does that surpass the yeah, guard's regular vision? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, by far. Like, it's... Yeah. It's like, double. <laughs> that one's in pretty intense. This stage has got a special trick, as you just seen. Uh, Limes, he spicks one target, and it makes it so all of them explode. It makes a chain explosion, which is really nice. Now this level is kind of dumb. You just like step on these floors and then there's an explosion somewhere. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe like the Japanese letters are re reference to something? Yeah, that could mean like explosion floor or something or loud floor. Maybe, yeah. Now this level this coming level? up with the rifle is super, super tricky and you gotta get on the right cycle right away. Good. Very, very good. Oh, wow. You executed that perfectly. Nice. Wow, Limes. That was, like, probably one of the best that you can do. Platonic has some experience with this level, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is kind of a weird level, because this is, like, all noisy floors over here. And the game just, like, gives you a stinger, but no ammo. The ammo's, like, <laughs> up there. You have to go all out of your way to pick that up. But we're just gonna exhaust. Yeah, stupid guard! Oh. Yeah, you can see how awkward it is. We're just gonna mess with the guard oh. basically and then that choke so close. Close. That cost me. big time. That's not too bad though, because you'd just be getting the steam missile probably like right about now, honestly. Like the ammo. Alright, that's. I'm getting the stinger. I don't care. I, I can't. I'm not failing this again. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, the the IL strat is very very tricky for this level, and trying to cheese this guard is just it's whack sometimes. There, easy peasy. So now we are now we are coming up to the last level of the game, which is hello. Another mystery level, and an auto-scroller, pretty much. So, there's a guard that's going to be picking up this book. You have to stay hidden, otherwise the guards will stay in their original starting locations and won't start to come out. We know which guard it is, but if you try to grab the guard early without him grabbing the book, um, then it's just a fail. So you have to wait for him to grab the book and then drag him to the goal. I think the description of this level is that they always return to the scene of the crime or something like that? I actually have the strategy guide for this game. If you wanted me to read something from it. This is funny. And time will be coming up when I press exit on this level. And time. Nicely done. GG. So that is Metal Gear Solid VR Missions. Um, a Ooh. Mid mid 148 so if it wasn't for those couple mistakes down the stretch that had a chance at world record so definitely improvable um i can definitely get a sub 145 but 
game can definitely get stressful at times so i'm i'm done for now but um kudos to everybody who donated um who sub bits followed all that fun stuff um if you like vr we got more coming up next with uh plywood with ghost babble vr which has a lot of similar levels to vr1 just in a 2d format so be sure to stick around stay tuned and um appreciate it thanks for having me all right, you heard the man. <clears throat> Excuse me, you heard the man. He covered everything. So we're gonna take a short intermission. Uh, get plywood in here. Get his uh, ghost babble VR set up, and we will be right back. <laughs> 